I am Dr. Preeti Prakash Prabhu and I will be taking you through infantile hypertrophic pyloric stenosis, integrating pediatrics and surgery for upcoming entrance exams. Let us start with a case scenario. A three-week-old baby boy was brought to the hospital by his parents with complaints of recurrent bouts of vomiting and poor feeding since two days. The vomitus was said to be whitish in color. Upon attempting to feed the child, an olive-shaped mass was seen and palpable on the child's abdomen. Which of the following statements is false regarding this case? Option A. The electrolyte abnormalities are to be corrected before the surgical procedure. Option B. The definitive procedure is gastrojejunostomy. Option C. Ultrasound finding that is cervix sign is diagnostic of this condition. And Option D. Macrolides are implicated in the pathogenesis of this condition. So, let us have a look at the answers. The false statement is option B. I, I hope all of you got that correct. Now, we will see uh, the, tr to, the true statements and later on we will see more about IHPS. The first uh, option was that the electrolyte abnormalities that are to be corrected before the surgical procedure. That is very important. Uh, as it is in every case, the child needs to be stabilized uh, primarily before taking him up for surgery. The second option which is wrong, uh, the definitive procedure is not gastrojejunostomy, but it is Ramstead's pyloromyotomy. Option C, ultrasound finding cervix sign is diagnostic of this condition. We will have a look at a, a couple of images in the subsequent slides. Macrolides are implicated in the pathogenesis of this condition. It is Im implicated theoretically that postnatally when erythromycin is used in children, it can lead to the development of congenital hypertrophic pyloric stenosis. So, uh, when we do talk now about important points regarding IHPS, it is solely uh, for you know entrance exam perspective and it is not like a complete exhaustive talk about IHPS. So now let's see what are the most important points that you need to know. These six are must know points. Uh, that the, the first point is that the first born male child is the most commonly implicated uh, person in congenital hypertrophic pyloric stenosis. The child usually presents with non-bilious projectile vomiting at 3 to 5 weeks of age. It is non-bilious because it is before the second half of duodenum. The third point that you need to know is that the olive shaped mass is very characteristic. Mass will be prominent upon attempting to feed the child as it is produced due to the contraction of the musculature. The investigation of choice is ultrasound. It has replaced barium studies now. The definitive management is always surgical that is Ramstead's pyloromyotomy. Let us have a look at a few ultrasound images. So here you can see uh, in the second image, this looks exactly like the uterine cervix and this is the cervix sign and this target uh, sign is uh, seen perpendicular to this in, in a view perpendicular to this where uh, it is the hypertrophied pyloric muscles which are giving this circular appearance. Earlier when there was no ultrasound, barium imaging was done and x-ray uh, findings were given specific names to identify IHPS. Here are a couple of names which can be potentially asked as MCQs. String sign which is seen here in the first image. String sign is essentially uh, a thin streak of barium which is passing through the hypertrophied pylorus as there is no, not much space to pass. The next one is shoulder sign which is seen on either side of the string. Uh, it is the indentation that is caused. Beak sign is when there is uh, a beak like an impression upon the antrum which is pointing towards the pyloric canal. Um, you can see in this third image here. Next will be the double track sign which is uh, actually when the pyloric muscles are so hypertrophied they tend to form tracks like this. and because these tracks uh, are next to each other and very congested, they give, a, give rise to a double track sign or sometimes even a triple track sign. 
mushroom sign and diamond sign are not that important caterpillar sign is due to the hyperperistaltic waves of the stomach due to the distal obstruction so in this first and second image you can see the, the double track sign and the fourth image you can see the caterpillar sign so now uh, let's see some other important points which you need to know for your entrance exams the electrolyte abnormality is very characteristically asked uh, very characteristic of ihps and is very commonly asked uh, you have hypochloremia and metabolic alkalosis that is because hcl is being vomited out by the child paradoxical aciduria is because uh, when there is hypochloremic metabolic alkalosis uh, although the amount of hydrogen is less in the body which is leading to alkalosis the body cannot exchange it for sodium and you know throw out sodium and retain more hydrogen from the kidneys so what the body does is because sodium is such an important ion it retains the sodium and throws out more hydrogen itself thereby it causes paradoxical aciduria the electrolyte abnormality should be corrected before the definitive surgical management this is true in ihps as well as any other condition because the vitals of the patient are the most important factor only after stabilizing the patient you can take them up for uh, surgical management in most of the cases erythromycin usage is implicated in the pathogenesis that is the macrolides which we mentioned in one of the options turner syndrome and trisomy 18 are some of the rare associations that are uh, seen with ihps icteropyloric syndrome is association of ihps with hyperbilirubinemia in a child so now very briefly about uh, ramstedt's pyloromyotomy uh, so it can be done through an open uh, route or or endoscopically uh, what they do is they cut open the outer coat of the stomach and allow the hypertrophic muscle to bulge out so that the the pressure is relieved but there is no damage to the mucosa so by this a lot of relief is there for the child so thank you for uh, watching this video subscribe to white army if you have not subscribed so far and stay tuned we will be coming with more of these short videos uh, i hope you found them helpful thank you